Hello, Aries. Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to your March forecast. This is a major life-changing month, like no joke for everybody. But you guys, I mean, Uranus is finally leaving your sign. Hello. Um, can you feel any kind of calm in your life at all? I don't know. Maybe not. Uranus, the planet of unexpected change, liberation, chaos, and growth has been in Aries since March of 2011. It was, it was in there for like five minutes before uh, 2011, but full force. It was March 2011, and it completely revamped your existence if you are an Aries or an Aries rising, okay? Life as you know it has radically shifted. You became freer to be yourself than you ever were in your life over the past seven years. Is it seven years? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit more. But guys, Uranus is about to leave your sign. And what does that mean? I want to talk about this because, you know, it's probably the most significant piece of astrology that's happening for you this month. Uranus is an outer planet. And when these outer planets move, your life changes completely. And having Uranus in your sign is something that will only happen once every 84 years. And I know that all of you Aries, Aries Risings out there are just not the same person that you were several years ago. And that is by design. You have instigated major growth, major change in your life over the last several years. And it's overall invigorating empowering and just, I mean, I hate to use the cliche word electrifying for the planet Uranus, but it's true. It's electrifying when Uranus goes through your sign. And now you find yourself walking into March and Uranus will leave your sign for good for the next 84 years on March 6th. And Uranus is going to move into your It'll move into Taurus and it'll move into your second house where he'll remain until April of 2026. So now there's a different focus for you with Uranus. Uranus wants to liberate you in terms of how you define your talents and abilities, your self-worth, how you create your wealth. What do you do to make money, Aries? It's time to pay attention to where you may have been complacent in this area of your life because the universe is about to shake up how you make money. It's about to shake up your finances in a roller coaster type of way. And traditionally, having Uranus in the, in the second house can be a time period of sudden financial reversals, either in a positive way or a not so positive way. But I do believe that it is how you consciously direct this energy that will determine the level of financial success and empowerment you experience over the next several years. So please pay attention to where you've been asleep at the wheel in terms of your money, how you make your money, your possessions, what you do with your money, okay? Again, complacency is the enemy of Uranus. It's, I don't want to say the enemy. Complacency is actually the trigger point of Uranus energy. It's what makes Uranian energy pop. Uranus has that way of finding exactly where you've been in a coma in your life and just zapping and creating a sudden radical change so that you have no choice but to deal with it in a different, new, visionary, progressive way. And that is where you're waking up in March, my dear, beautiful Aries out there. You are waking up in terms of reconsidering your financial empowerment and all of that potential. 
It's beautiful if you think about it because you spent all these past years waking up to who you truly are. And now you have an opportunity to use what you've learned about self-actualization to now create financial stability by going after the development of your talents and abilities that are most unusual, most eccentric, most visionary and progressive. And I know it sounds ironic for me to say that you can have financial stability with Uranus in your second house, but it is in Taurus. So it's a little bit of an oxymoron. Taurus is all about stability, especially with finances. And Uranus is breaking up the status quo. So the irony here for you to understand, the key to your financial success is that the way to find and create financial stability is to shake up your current financial status quo and really go after something radically different for making money, okay? It will empower you, trust me. So what else is going on for you guys this month? Well, you know, Mercury will go retrograde for everybody and Mercury will retrograde in Pisces and in your hidden 12th house from March 5th until the 28th. And this is interesting because now information that you've been keeping to yourself, you're reevaluating kind of those mental, you know, I almost want to say, I do want to say, not almost, I am saying this, where you have been mentally crippled and paralyzed and in fear is exactly what you need to reevaluate now. Are you avoiding certain decisions? Are you avoiding certain conversations? Now is the time to think about why you're doing that and whether or not it really is serving you. Most likely it is not, but you have to carefully consider how you want to communicate yourself and your ideas this month because Mercury is retrograde. And when Mercury is retrograde in your 12th house, there is that potential for you to kind of Bit out something that you shouldn't, that you're supposed to keep quiet. And I got this great piece of advice from Jay Shetty, who's a motivational speaker, and I heard it on his new podcast. It's amazing. And I'm going to start to practice this. I recommend that you guys do this, especially this month. You know, when we communicate sometimes, um, we communicate in haste and we communicate without fully considering the consequences. A lot of times our communication is based on reaction rather than reflection. And this Mercury retrograde period for you especially will teach you that communicating reactively is never going to serve you well. But if you learn how to communicate reflectively, it will help you. So here's here's what I heard on, on Jay Shetty's podcast. It was about You know, before you say something on social media, especially, before you text someone a response, uh, what you want to do is text that message or that social media update that you would do to yourself first and sit with it and Go back maybe a half an hour, an hour after you've texted it to yourself and read it carefully. And if it is something that you would still share in that way to the person or to your social media, then go ahead. Go ahead and share it. But by texting it to yourself first, you give yourself an opportunity to go back and read your thought and recognize how the other person is going to receive that information And so instead of reactively communicating, you are reflectively communicating. And I really want you guys to to hear me on this this month. With Mercury retrograde in your 12th house, that's a big theme, okay? So what else is going on for you guys? I see my little babies, my Aries, gosh. All right, the new moon in Pisces will also happen in your 12th house on the 6th. Now Mercury is retrograde when this new moon happens. So there is something brewing behind the scenes for you that's really imaginative and creative 
But again, you kind of have to keep quiet about it. This is a great time for spiritual advancement for you guys with that new moon in 12th house. It is beautiful for spiritual advancement. Now, let's talk about the full moon in Libra. There are, this is interesting. There are two full moons in Libra happening consecutively, one in March, and then there'll be another one in April. And this is your partnership sector. So both of these lunations are progressing relationship dynamics for you in emotionally significant ways. Full moons bring emotions to the surface, to awareness and to culmination. So this full moon in Libra is at the, um, the beginning of the of the sign. Okay, this full moon in Libra is at literally zero degrees nine minutes. The full moon next month will be at the end of the sign. So it's kind of like your it's the beginning of the end of something connected to a relationship. And then next month it's gonna be the ending of the end of it. Now don't confuse that and automatically assume that your relationship is ending. Okay, if you're in a good relationship, that's not what's going to happen. The beginning of the end for you is going to be something that you're dealing with in this particular relationship. Now, if you are single, these two lunations are going to be really valuable because they're going to teach you something about your personal fulfillment needs in relationship. And the first one that's happening this month on the 20th is about becoming really aware of what you need in relationship and what your what your limitations are in terms of what you're willing to give and not give in a relationship okay especially not overgiving yourself usually aries doesn't have that problem but with two full moons in, in libra back to back there's something about an imbalance that needs to be corrected either in a relationship that you have or in the way that you relate in general so that you can have a healthier relationship. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. I hope this was helpful. That's basically what I want to tell you for, April, for May, March. Oh my gosh, April. I'm already in April. You see what happens when you predict the future? You just can't focus on the present. <laughs> Such a liability. Okay, so before I sign off, I wanted to let you know, I'm really excited about my cousin, Maria De Simone Garber. She has an amazing fashion boutique in Newark, Delaware called Just In Case Boutique. And I'm really excited because I am now wearing her clothes and jewelry. She has become a sponsor of my YouTube channel and she's given me all these cool clothes and jewelry. And I want you guys to go, click the link in the description box below if you like what I'm wearing accessory-wise and fashion-wise because you can get amazing clothes and accessories from this store. And you don't have to live in Delaware. You go to her Facebook page, Just In Case Boutique. Again, the link is in the description box below. And you let her know that Cousin Maria sent you and she might have some goodies for you. She might have something special for you. And what I love the most about my cousin Maria's business is that she is a charitable Pisces who has a, an organization, a non-for-profit organization that helps single mothers who are in a health crisis. So a portion of her proceeds goes directly to help these women. It's beautiful. And I'm so proud of my cousin and I want to do everything I can to support her and her cause. And I hope you do as well. Not to mention, she's got some great stuff link in the description box below. And of course, if you want to connect with me, personal session, click on my link in the description box below and we will be talking soon. Okay. Happy March Aries. It's an amazing time for you. So embrace it.